Yeah, so although, although in this country at the moment it's not law to ride with a helmet, um, you'd be pretty daft not to. Um, they're inexpensive. Um, if they fit well, they're very comfortable. Um, you're not going to get that hot in them. So a, a helmet is top of the list. Um, every time you throw your leg over your bike, a uh, helmet should go on first. Uh, and a good quality helmet, something like this, this little helmet here, um, you know, it's going to cost you £30. Um, so um, certainly my head's worth more than 30 quid. So I'm, <laughs> helmets are important. Um, when you're looking at helmets, um, they should be uh, good quality. Um, the shell, if the shell is bonded into the helmet, it makes for a much stronger helmet rather than the shell just being stuck on top. Um, so you're looking for a shell that's bonded into the, the material of the helmet. Um, inside the helmet, you're looking for a retention system at the back here. So we can actually tailor this to fit your head. Um, and then most importantly, this needs to fit. So once this actually pops onto your head, uh, the front of the helmet here should be sitting just above your eyebrows. So you should be able to see the peak of the helmet. Um, Put it on the head nice and loose, wind the back in nice and tight, make that nice and snug in your helmet, so you can leave your straps undone for the moment, and then with that snug, there shouldn't be any movement on the helmet. This should hold your head nice and still, so we shouldn't be able to, to shake them and the helmet should move. Um, once that's done, you can clip your straps up, and these don't need to be super tight, so you should be able to get a couple of fingers under the chin strap, move those around so you can, you can breathe, you can talk, um, and yeah, it should just fit nice and comfortable. Um, Helmet needs to be good condition. So if there's dents and scratches and holes, um, then it really should be disposed of. Um, bearing in mind that most helmets are designed to absorb an impact um, rather than uh, something like a, a rock climbing helmet which should dissipate an impact. So this is designed to break. So we need to look after it, um, which means not dropping it, not kicking it. Um, and if you are unsure and you can see any visible signs of, of damage or cracks, um, get it replaced. Yeah. Uh, they also have a shelf life um, of three to five years, depending on the manufacturer of the helmet. So that's worth bearing in mind as well. Uh, and then very lastly, um, it needs to look good, because if it doesn't look good, you won't wear it. So the last thing is, you like the look of it. So fit first, look second.